First piece is called Moons. This is a city where everything has gone wrong, including the sky. He looked up. The sky streamed with black and silver. The smoke so low and limitless before had rattled into billows, torn and flung by some high wind that did not reach down to the street. Hints of a moon struck webs of silver on the raveling mist. I've never seen it like that before. And then louder, has it ever been like that before? That's the first time I've seen it. Then she stopped. Then they all stopped. He swallowed hard with his head back. It tugged uncomfortably at his Adam's apple. Through one rent, the lunar disk had appeared then as the aperture moved. With the wind, we saw a second moon. Lower in the sky, smaller. It was in some crescent phase. Jesus, Jack said. The smoke came together now and tore away. Once more, the night was lit by the smaller, but distinctly lunar present. A few stars glittered near it. The smoke closed here, opened there. The gibbous moon shone above it. There's actually five acts to this thing. 
Yeah. But I'm only going to do three kind of abbreviated versions. Kid stood feeling among his neck chains. It's getting time for me to split. Any of you who want to come along with me. Come now. He caught his shield and flipped the pit. Where Dragon Lady had been her dragon rose. The scorpions on the grass squinted in blue light. Then he did something with the box and laughed. And Lanya stood up a swirl in crimson and indigo. The 3D Rorschach that was Denny turned and turned and moved through the crush. Kid walked beside a raging mantis with swaying ruby eyes. But Copperhead's arachnid, scales bright as the sun, as the underside of submerged rose leaves sheen with air, ballooned ahead drifted away. A gorgeous bird collapsed near him. Ahead, among a dozen others, a scorpion flickered. Harmonica music was drowned in breaking glass and laughter. Someone had dropped the bottle. The bird ignited again. Kid glanced around to see the pavement glistening. They exhaust my eyes, my ears are on fire. There is nothing left to watch but fire and the night, circle within circle, light within light. Messages arrive in the nest where discrete pulses cross. Parametal engines of joy and disaster give them wave and motion. We interpret and defeat their terms by terminus. The night, what of it? It is filled with bestial watchmen, portents, trammeling the extremities and the interstices of the timeless city, constellated deities plumbing in ash and smoke roaming the apocryphal cities, the cities of speculation and reconstituted disorder, of insemination. An incipient swept round the dark. Yeah. Kid stood feeling among his neck chains. Me to split. Any of you who want to come along with me, come now. He caught his shield and flipped the pit. Where Dragon Lady had been her dragon rose. The scorpions on the grass squinted in blue light. Then he did something with the box and laughed. And 
Melania stood up a swirl in crimson and indigo. The 3D Rorschach that was Denny turned and turned and moved through the crush. Kid walked beside a raging mantis with swaying ruby eyes. But Copperhead's arachnid, scales bright as the sun, as the underside of submerged rose leaves sheen with air, ballooned ahead drifted away. A gorgeous bird collapsed near him. Ahead, among a dozen others, a scorpion flickered. Harmonica music was drowned in breaking glass and laughter. Someone had dropped the bottle. The bird ignited again. Kid glanced around to see the pavement glistening. They exhaust my eyes, my ears are on fire. There is nothing left to watch but fire and the night, circle within circle, light within light. Messages arrive in the nest where discrete pulses cross. Parametal engines of joy and disaster give them wave and motion. We interpret and defeat their terms by terminus. The night, what of it? It is filled with bestial watchmen, portents, trammeling the extremities and the interstices of the timeless city, constellated deities plumbing in ash and smoke roaming the apocryphal cities, the cities of speculation and reconstituted disorder, of insemination. An incipient swept round the dark.